Uh, hello and welcome to our Facebook watch party. We are here to find out who the lucky winners are of Virginia's first elk hunt. Woohoo! I'm Bob Smet, Director of Outreach for the Department of Wildlife Resources. And I'm Paige Pearson, Public Information Officer for the Department of Wildlife Resources. This year, we had over 30,000 applicants for the first ever Virginia Elk Lottery, giving five special people the opportunity to purchase one of these elk licenses. So before we find out who our lucky winners are, we're going to learn a little bit more about Virginia's elk herd from DWR elk biologist Jackie Rosenberger. My name is Jackie Rosenberger and I'm the elk project leader for the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources. We are very excited to announce our first elk hunt in the elk management zone since our state started the elk restoration program. Um, our hunt this year will be October 8th through the 14th, so it'll be one week and uh, those licensed hunters will have the opportunity to harvest bulls, so it'll only be open for antlered elk. Um, and, and this is just an exciting time for our agency and our partners uh, because we've reached a point in our elk population where we are, are comfortable with allowing the harvest of a couple bulls um, that would not have a negative effect on our population. And so it's important to note that this hunt is actually not about population control at all. Um, we have plenty of room to grow our elk population within our elk management zone. Um, this hunt is just more about, you know, we, we've reached an abundance level with our elk population that uh, we can allow some recreational opportunities, some amazing recreational opportunities for hunters to uh, go after these bulls in October uh, without having negative effects on our, our population growth. And so, um, you know, we're really excited. This, this perfectly aligns with our mission as an agency um, to further um, you know, recreation through hunting, um, as well as a goal of putting elk on the landscape in the first place. You know, our goal was to someday have a huntable population and, and we have reached that. We have 250 plus elk. So that is um, our most recent estimate. So we are confident that we have at least 250 animals, um, but we likely have, have more than that. We have around 200 animals in Buchanan County, and then we have you know, 50 plus individuals that are scattered in other counties throughout Southwest Virginia. But I would just like to thank you know, everyone that applied for this hunt. You know, obviously not everyone is going to be able to be awarded an elk license, um, but we appreciate everyone's participation um, because you know, your, your application fee is going to conservation within uh, Virginia. And so um, you know, while you may not have an opportunity to hunt elk, you are very much a part of conservation and elk uh, within our state, and we s sincerely appreciate it. Although our hunting opportunities are limited here, uh, we have essentially unlimited opportunities for folks to come to our elk management zone, particularly in Buchanan County, to come see these elk. Uh, I promise you it will be an amazing experience. They're, they're a very charismatic species. Um, and especially in the fall, you know, when they're in the rut and, you know, bulls are bugling and, and they're fighting and, you know, they're on full display with their behaviors. And that's when uh, folks, the, the time of year when folks most like to come and view them. Um, I would invite everyone, you know, whether you're a resident of Virginia or a non-resident of Virginia, to, to just come see our elk. It'll be an amazing experience and very rewarding. Um, and you'll get to see what you've helped to contribute to, you know, whether you've bought a hunting license in Virginia, whether you entered our elk lottery, you know, if you bought a fishing license, you know, any way you've contributed, you, you've contributed to, to this project. As you can see, Jackie is very passionate about the elk herd, uh, but she didn't do it alone. Uh, we had the partnership of a number of people and organizations. Leon Boyd uh, is a Department of Wildlife Resources board member. He lives in Buchanan County and he has been involved with the elk restoration from the very beginning. So we're going to hear a little bit more from Leon uh, about his involvement in that effort. I'm Leon Boyd. We're here in the Wharf Fork area of Buchanan County. This is where the actual elk release uh, site and location of the restoration was. It started here in 2012 uh, we had an elk release 2012, 13, and 14. You know, this is our 10th year anniversary of elk being released in 2012, now we're in 2022. 
So in October is our first elk season. So there's a total of six elk tags available. Uh, you know, the winners will be notified here shortly. And uh, then I guess, you know, we'll see how that works. And of course, be a learning experience with the first year and how it'll work, but looking very forward to that and working with staff and putting this program together and landowners to make sure that we've got really good places for folks that draw the tag to hunt. If you've never hunted elk, I think you're going to be in for a surprise when you realize the size of the animals. Uh, when you get out here, you know, you watch them on TV, but it doesn't do them just until you see them in the wild for yourself or actually are successful uh, in uh, harvesting the elk and get him on the ground. You know, there's a lot of work into it. But I think folks will see, or uh, Virginia will have some of the best opportunity for an elk hunt that, uh, that I've ever seen. You know, like I said, I've hunted out west for 10 years, and, uh, but opportunity here is gonna be really good. Of course, it's our first year uh, for a hunt. And uh, I think when they get here, they're gonna be surprised. I think they're really gonna find some of these mine reclamation areas and open fields, and just the beauty of the terrain we have. Uh, they're going to enjoy. Patience will be a, a key role in it, you know, uh, just learning how elk move, what they do, they're pretty predictable. During that time, they're definitely going to be looking for water, so we've got several water sources. Uh, landowners are, are critical for the project, you know, uh, making sure the landowners and, and folks and the hunters are all on the same page and uh, things, so I look forward to it. Uh, Jackie and a lot of them's done a really good job uh, getting a lot of the groundwork and the foundation uh, ahead of us. I know that was one of the major concerns is where will we hunt for elk if I draw a tag? Uh, that won't be a problem. There's plenty of lands. Uh, there's a lot of landowners that's working with us to allow that. So with uh, DWR and the, the leases that they've been able to, to work with and work on uh, and private lands, it, it'll really be good. The quality of bulls that we have is going to be very, very impressive. Uh, you know, we've watched it for the last several years, like I said, uh, with Kentucky, with their herd, and uh, they really, really good numbers. Uh, Score-wise, that's pretty amazing. Virginia's going to be right up there with them. Uh, there is elk, and, and I've watched them all year long, you know, through the full, from the time they shed their antlers, the new growth, and when it comes back. But... Uh, it's, uh, the hunters are gonna be very pleased. And uh, all the visitors that come and visit during the rut leave with that, oh my goodness, you know, uh, wow factor and the pictures that they get, uh, it's pretty amazing. Many thanks to Mr. Boyd for all his support over the years for our elk restoration projects and DWR as a whole. We literally could not have done this without him, his organization, his partnership, and his friendship. So we really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Leon. And lastly, before we announce the winners, uh, we have one more special guest who is the Secretary of Agriculture and Forestry, Mr. Matt Lohr. Hello. My name is Matt Lohr, and I have the honor of serving as Virginia's Secretary of Agriculture and Forestry. 2022 marks two major milestones for Virginia's elk management program, the 10th anniversary of elk restoration and the inaugural elk hunt in Southwest Virginia's elk management zone. Elk are native to Virginia and historically occurred throughout most of the present day United States. By the mid 1800s, however, we'd lost the last of Virginia's native elk herd, the last documented elk in the Commonwealth was killed in Clark County in 1855. Attempts at restoring these majestic animals to our state in the early 1900s failed due to the lack of knowledge at the time concerning elk habitat and the components of a successful restoration program. Now, fortunately, we are changing all of that. Working with our partners here in Virginia and our neighbors in Kentucky, the Commonwealth translocated 75 elk to Buchanan County between 2012 and 2014. We established our elk management zone in Buchanan, Dickinson, and Wise counties, and it's worked. We've tracked the herd as it has consistently grown each year. Elk-related recreation, especially elk viewing, has begun to positively impact the local economy of Buchanan County and fit well with the other outdoor recreational opportunities that make this region of the Commonwealth so special. Now we have reached an exciting point in Virginia's elk program. The population is robust enough to allow a few lucky hunters 
the first opportunity in modern time to pursue Virginia bulls. The hunting public has enthusiastically responded. Over a half a million dollars to support wildlife conservation was raised by nearly 32,000 elk hunt lottery applicants. On top of that, one conservation partner organization will have the opportunity to raffle off a tag to find a conservation and outdoor recreation project in the elk management zone. Please join me, our Department of Wildlife Resources and all of our partners in Southwest Virginia and beyond in celebrating this conservation and economic rejuvenation success story. Thank you, Secretary Lohr. So Bob, how does all this work? I know it's not just drawing names out of a hat, is it? The page as much as we would have liked to have just drawn a name out of a hat. Can't do that. Can't do that. No. So. The numbers were randomly assigned. Uh, it was a scientific process, computer generated by a third party. Now, this is the official version. So all the elk hunt lottery applicants, they were assigned a random number between one and the total number of applicants received. Opportunities to purchase the special elk license, they are gonna be offered to the applicant, assigned number one, and then proceed sequentially down through number five. One license has to go to someone in the elk management zone, and no more than one license can go to an out-of-state hunter. Now, if the winner in the elk management zone declines or can't purchase the license for any reason, we will offer it to the next applicant mm -hmm. in sequence within the elk management zone. And the same for the other hunters. If someone cannot buy the license, we will just proceed in chronological order to the next randomly assigned number and they will be offered the opportunity to purchase the license. So more information about how the lottery was conducted is going to be available on our website if you really want to dig into all those gory details. The time is here. So we have been waiting for this moment all evening. Drum roll. Paige, if you would be so kind. Well, oh, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, lucky winner number one. And these are your DWR customer ID numbers that you use to log in through your Go Outdoors account. So remember that. Number one, one eight six one zero six zero from Richmond, Virginia. I gotta number check two. my number. Number two, one six three seven four five eight from Alexandria, Virginia. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Number three, one seven six zero six four seven from Unionville, Virginia. Woohoo! <laughs> Number four, one six three two two eight three from Rhodesville, Virginia. And number five, the last lucky winner, 186434 from Van Zandt, Virginia. There we go. You got your five winners. So make sure you know your customer ID number, log into your account, and see if it's you. Congratulations. Now, if it's not you, we have another opportunity we are awarding a sixth opportunity to purchase an elk license to the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. Visit the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation website. Uh, here at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the address for an opportunity to enter their raffle, and maybe you can be the winner of that sixth license. Thank you all so much for tuning in.